Uh, so welcome back guys. My name is Amran and in today's tutorial we simply look at how we can pay on Amazon. The various methods on which we can pay on Amazon. So first things first, Amazon is an online e-commerce portal. So if you are on Play Store, you are using Android Power Smartphone, you can go ahead and download Amazon. I believe it's now available on most phones by default and you can see we have the Amazon app. We have already created an account and everything. And presently, if you see, I can add stuff. So I've already added one to my cart. And this tutorial is not about showing on selection and addition of things that you would like. So I've already made this kind of selection and I want to go ahead and proceed to buy. And I want to show you on the different payment mechanisms that we have available. So once I have done with selection of address, so and the delivery. The next things are like the payment page. Now here is the page that I want to talk more about. So we have options of either paying by adding debit or credit card or by UPI mechanisms or by net banking or by pay on delivery. That is like once the uh, item comes, we pay directly to the person who comes. So that is cash on delivery. So these are basically the four mechanisms that we have as of now. So again, I repeat, we have UPI. So you may be knowing of the Bheem app using which you can set up your UPI ID. So I have a Bheem UPI. So in case you don't know, it's more or less your number followed by the bank name. And you have to actually check with banks which give you this UPI things. Then you can actually use your debit or credit card. Or you can use net banking or you can also go ahead for cash on delivery. Let's go ahead with the sample uh, net banking and just let us show you how it's done. So I'm using net banking and I have ICICI bank credentials. So I click on continue and you can see that I'm being charged 90 rupees and I'm getting some delivery and everything. So I click on place your order and pay and that is all what the tutorial is about. So I basically want to show you how we so I'm directed to the bank page. Here I need to put in my user ID. Then my password. I then click on login. And once it directs me inside, I click on pay. So there you go. I have made my payment successfully on Amazon. And this we have done using net banking. So my accounts got debited. I will be redirected to the Amazon portal. And it will show that the item has been placed and stuff like that. Voila, voila, voila. And I can continue shopping. I can also check my orders in which this item should be pretty much there. And there you go. It's not yet dispatched and stuff like that. So I just wanted to kind of, you know, show how you can pay. And let's just go through the steps once more so that you know, like, what are the payment mechanisms that are available to you? So here I am just selecting an item and it's going to the cart. I want to get it delivered to this address. This would be the delivery time that's applicable. And there you go. This is the payment page. So I want you to focus on this. Please let's understand the options here. Pay on delivery or CC, uh, CC, COD, sorry. This is not available on all items. So in case this is disabled, what it means is that it's not there for the item that you have selected. And it's uh, only the rest are there. So in case some is like, you know, not selected. So here, like you can see that this part is disabled, EMI unavailable. Why you can click and understand why it's not there. But the ones which are available here, like at present, is COD cash on delivery so the person comes and you are required to pay only then net banking is like when you are paying at present all the other op options are like paying at present we just now did a net banking thing you could have also done it with your debit or credit card but advisable is not to ever save never save your debit card or credit card details on Amazon and also you can pay using UPI so in case you are using uh, wallets so like, you know, Google Pay uh, or like Phone Pay or Paytm or something like that. Maybe you have set up a UPI ID using Beam also. So you can use that and also make your payment on Amazon. So this is how you would be paying on Amazon. Hopefully this tutorial helps. Please go ahead and share this with friends, families, relatives and everyone whom you think this would go ahead and be of some help. Please do also subscribe to our channel so that we can keep making such basic things so that more and more people join with us on the digital platform. I know this is basic, but maybe not basic for our parents, not basic for the old, aged, and also the people who are newly getting acquainted with all of this. Go ahead, have a great day, and do subscribe. Thank you.